Now for our segment, uh, Should I Worry? It's our weekly segment about everything that worries us. So this viewer asks, I am 53 and have fibroids that cause pain and irregular bleeding. Birth control pills help, but not enough to justify staying on them. Should I worry? Dr. Siegel, I know you don't treat this woman, but what do you think about the low dosage of birth control, low estrogen birth control pills to treat fibroids or the bleeding? It's one of the things you do, absolutely, Artho. You, you, you use them to try to diminish the bleeding and the amount of estrogen in there is probably not enough to make them grow. But I have a different concern here that I want the viewers to know, which is there's about 700,000 hysterectomies done in this country every year. 80% of them are for fibroids. I want people out there to know there are many other things you can use that you have to think about first before you have your uterus out. This is a benign tumor in the wall, in the muscular wall of your uterus. And you know what? It's benign 99% of the time. And if you're reaching menopause, because the majority, the majority of women have this sometimes in their life. And as I was saying to you, Arthel, three times as many black women have this. It's genetic. I genetic have major fibroids. I've had three surgeries, two laparoscopic, one myomectomy, where they go and cut you like you're doing, getting a C-section, but they take out fibroids instead. So I ask you about the I'm hysterectomy. I ask you about the, the well, they deterred. <laughs> what about the hysterectomy, oh. though? Because you can do it robotically, but I was told because of the size of my fibroids that if I did a hysterectomy laparoscopically, uh, big. then I would bleed out on the yeah. table. Arthel, it depends on the location, it depends on the size, it also depends on what kind of fibroid you have. So, for example, a majority of these are within the wall of the uterus, intramural, but they could also be outside. Which is a lot exactly right. right, with a stem. Those are very easy to take care of with robotic if there are small ones. Even the big ones we can take out. What has happened is the machine, the marcellator, that used to break the tissue after the fibroid is not being used in the country, so you would end up with the incision, mm -hmm. or sometimes we can take it out through the vagina. But a lot of times, these may not cause a problem, and after menopause, it can shrink on its own. There are medical treatments, such as Lupron, which can reduce your estrogen and progesterone. Yeah, but doesn't that bring on early menopausal symptoms? Th that can, but That's let's... let's Let's talk too. about the big thing that's very popular, which is the, the intervention radiologists today, they can embolize right. some of these blood vessels. Wait, before you, you're not happy about it, wait. Instead of like a major surgery, you can embolize those blood vessels that can bring the blood flow to the fibroids. Now, if you're planning to have children, that's not for you. So you've got to be talking to your doctor and okay. decide what's the best treatment. All right, but that too, embolism, it all, I'm sorry, Greg, it also brings about menopausal symptoms early. Absolutely. But Dr. Samadhi is pointing out here, though, is there's a whole quiver of arrows here that you can use for this. One is you can take part of it out through a laparoscope or through, through a hysteroscope or robotically, as he just said, or you can try to shrink it through embolization. There's also medications. You can try birth control pills, as, as the viewer said. You know, you can try Lupron side effects. There are newer versions of Lupron that don't even have those side effects. And, and in the majority of women, and we're not talking about pregnancy here, because if you have them when you're pregnant, you may need a C-section as a result. The majority of women that get these perimenopausally, they're going to shrink. So those yeah. bleeding symptoms no, but, you have, you may want to treat the bleeding and get the patient right. through the and rough just, spot and not take them out or take a piece of it out or take, me, just, but leave the uterus in. Let me just go back to what you were saying. Embolization doesn't have to cause infertility. I didn't say infertility, I said menopausal. It, it should not, because uh, it's not affecting symptoms. your hormones. It's not. It basically reduces the blood flow to those fibroids, and you still keep your uterus, right. okay, which is a good I, thing. They're telling me to wrap. And, uh, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put them on our Facebook, yes, because no problem. Seriously, and, and I have to stop. Okay. It's a great treatment is the point he's making. I have them, and they keep coming back. You we don't have, have to, to suffer. There are a lot of treatment now. There. Talk to your doctor. Okay. That's okay. Right.